Hey, what's up, y'all? Pete here. Just wanted to provide a little bit of an overview for this post. Uh, since there are a lot, of, there's a lot of content on here and a lot of links that take you to even more content. Uh, essentially, it's just an overview, the meta posts, related documents, and playlists from each of the five times that I've been kidnapped and caged. And I just wanted to do this to make clear, you know, I've never sought to be kidnapped and caged. I don't think really anybody uh, means for that to happen, but uh, it's happened. Uh, a hand sort of pushed back or stood up for my rights or, or ultimately questioned those individuals who demand my obedience and they demand that I comply or else. You know, and it's not, definitely it's not every time that I've ever questioned anybody who thinks they have uh, extra rights or who at least operates that way. It's, you know, I've interacted with with a ton of people who wear badges and it's just this handful of times and it is so arbitrary you never know and hopefully it never happens but when you do stand up for your rights you never know where somebody's arbitrary subjective line is you know people talk about a rule of law but how can there really be a rule of law when that law is created by man and then interpreted by man and the people who create and interpret the law are sheltered from competition they say we have a monopoly on the creation of law we have a monopoly on its interpretation and thus they have a monopoly on uh, holding themselves accountable, which, you know, never really happens. So I just wanted to make clear and encourage you to stand up for your rights. Even if you see the most trivial of double standards, call them out. And especially if it's something even uh, more egregious, like somebody being, their rights being violated uh, by another person initiating force. Don't let, don't be scared, don't be fearful. I mean, those are, those are tools that bullies use. They use intimidation ta tactics, they use harassment tactics, and they'll continue to do it until each of us doesn't allow for that to happen. So um, I hope that all the content on this post, I, again, transparency is key, and the reason that I wanted to share all this content was to make public the misdeeds that some individuals have done, um, both because I know I have nothing to hide in these situations, and uh, the, you know, I hope it encourage. I hope you can impart some lessons from it yourself. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll encourage you to to be more rigorous if you ever are uh, harassed by people with badges. To be rigorous in the documentation of it while it's fresh, and to get it up there, and to encourage other people to check it out, and if need be, to make calls on your behalf or, you know, whatever tactics, uh, peaceful tactics you think appropriate. And you know, I just conclude with the simple fact and statement that you own yourself. You know, I have no right to, to tell you how you to spend your money or what you can and can't do. As long as you're not hurting anybody else, then it's really none of my business. I mean, if we're good friends, I might encourage you not to uh, partake in an activity I think that could be potentially dangerous to you, but uh, other than share information and my sentiments with you, I have no right to uh, constrain your actions. As long, Again, as long as you're not negatively uh, affecting others and neither does anybody else you know regardless of where they work regardless of what costume they have on the criminals only get away with as much as people allow them to get away with 